Previously, we were introduced to Nat Yon Tararak and his legacy for the arrangement of Thai folk music and the late King Pumipon's music. As a concert pianist, Nat has toured across Europe and the United States and represented Thailand by presenting Thai music on the international stage. How did Nat establish himself as a renowned classical musician locally and abroad in a country not known for classical music? Being an ASEAN artist among the European pianists around the world is not easy. So in my early days, I have the Foreign Ministry of Thailand to help me to present me through our Thai ambassadors in many countries. And they have helped to present me along with other European pianists. And the reason that made myself different is that I present myself with my own composition. And that made a lot of difference. We can share our culture through our music. And people get to know the first half of my program usually is a classical music in general, and then second half is my own composition. In this way, I can present Thailand and our own culture through our music. As a pedagogue, Nat always believed in passing on his knowledge to the next generation in order to continue his music legacy. In 1985, Nat founded his own musical school, Nat Studio, which has become one of the leading music schools in Thailand. Many of its alumni have gone on to achieve successful professional music careers across Thailand and abroad. The reason that I come back home and set up our piano school in Thailand, because when I was young, I just go to my private piano teachers, and there is not much of the piano school in Thailand. So I thought that if I have the piano school, I could help. Uh, generate the interest of piano playing among the young people and they would have chance. And we also organize piano competition and in this way it really encouraged a lot of people to study music through piano seriously. And uh, after 34 years it has bear fruit a lot and those who graduate from our school and the one who went through our competition. Now there are quite a number of people who has received a PhD in music and they are working in many universities in Thailand. Now with the Spirio R recording function, we can have this new technology in teaching the student. The student can hear themselves right away after we recorded them. And when they hear it, and with the video, probably they can see and they hear the difference of what they hear when they play and when they sit, listen carefully. This learning only acquired through the piano like this, because the sound, they will learn a lot about producing the right tone, the right approach, and how they can motivate make themselves really enthusiastic in learning and to improve themselves. Join Steinway artist Nat Yon Tararak as he presents his own arrangements of compositions by the late King Pumapon, as well as Thai folk music on the latest Steinway Spirio R. Look out for our next episode, where we take a look at how technology shapes the creative process of Steinway artist Dr. Raoul Sonico.